All right, sorry about that. So, my stream dropped. Uh, so you've missed a little bit of uh, what happened. So I managed to kill Sugar with uh, a Dew. So that happened. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and continue on what we were doing here. And hopefully it doesn't drop again. I have no way of eating that thing, so it's probably gonna perish eventually. Too much damage to me. Yeah, that thing is. Uh, I'm gonna have to say thank you for your services here soon. Actually, right now. There you go. Thank you for your services. There you go. I'm a man of my word. I'm not paralyzed. Let's come all the way here. to happen. Hey, now you're gonna destroy my sea serpent. <laughs> Ow. What? I missed a, a golem? Oh my god. Now you're a little far behind. Makasuru. Yikes. That wasn't great. Much here. There, I'm gonna make a view fly. I still so I had a 100% chance to hit that thing and I missed somehow. Alright, that's it for a whopping 42. Ow. 
Which is all stand by Ken do much right now. Alright, so Gonna perish anyway, so I'll make good use of you before you do. Oh boy, yeah, that thing is going to uh, be a problem. Should have enough for another frost. Mm. Oh, I have enough for another one after that too. Yeah, I think I need to take that down. It's gonna take quite a few spells and whatnot, but oh. I think I, I have to touch him out there. You tornado swing. I'm not gonna do that. No, that. Oh. Oh. That's not good, I missed. How? Okay, you're ready to level up, so I might want to not get you killed. Blue defense as well. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, buffs and debuffs. Okay, so that should work then, I would think. Guess not. Okay. Worded, the description was worded poorly. Oh. to it with that. Alright, I should be able to deal some damage to it now. Now that he's weakened. Of course he's still pretty strong. Of course he's not missing either. It's a crit for 96. That's cool. Ow. Wow, I've never seen a golem never miss like this one never misses. Thank you. 
cannot reach. No. All right, let's go. Seventy-two. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough unless you do it. You didn't. Just outside of E here. Okay. I don't know that it's a good idea to bring you all the way here. You're not all that strong. Yeah, let's not do that. Some hit points for free. Oh, I feel better. All right, so you. Start everything over there. My lizard, my level two lizard man is deceased. Yeah, Gentle Flame is very tempting. But casting weakness on one of their knights is also tempting. Okay, so you have 525 left. Problem is that nobody past this unit can help. So I'm gonna do Jennifer. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. Pluto's pretty good. Pretty good level indeed. That takes care of that. Because you're gonna take care of my. Oh, I forgot to keep you covered. I'm sorry. Oh, I never have 
avoiding anything. when you think yes that thing have any frosts left anymore. Oh. Okay, so I can finish you off. There you go. Eh. A little uh, underwhelming for a level there. Pluto here. Go where it's a little safer. Alright, am I dealing enough damage that they're gonna want to retreat? Oh, you're done with Frost too. Alright, you can go and hide over there too. many monsters that I'm trying to hide at the same time. That's, uh, that's not good. Yeah, I really don't want to lose you, but it's better than using his, uh, losing his entire unit. Okay, can I finish you off? Yes, I can. I will. Maybe I'm gonna get a level that's gonna save my life. Well, three points. The two edge OT might help. <laughs> Oh. Oh no. That's not good. Oh. All right, here, all three. You fight and runs away. She may live to fight another day. Uh, there's some truth to that. He's gonna try with the sea serpent too. Oh, I got the feeling. I'm done for. Yeah, you are. Alright. He's still running away. So it's still a victory, but. Yeah. He got Vigo on the way out. If only we had stronger monsters. Oh, so you're gonna blame that on the monsters? Okay. Looks like Lady Luck was smiling on us today. Alright. So that is a victory! Okay, I'll take that. Okay. Decent, decent.
Alright, so that was three invasions this turn. Two by the computer against the computer. I almost fell off my chair. And so it wasn't easy. Um, I didn't manage to get the castle. I lost a little bit. Not too bad, but I did lose. I did lose a bit. God. Oh, oh, did I get a. No, recollection I thought I was getting a knight. Yumi Maru recharged. Man, why is this place always so loud? Plu hey Pluto, where are you? Sun and Pluto have known each other since childhood, and she always visits him when she needs her weapons repaired. Pluto was the most adept warlock in the Federation defense corps, but he had a way with machines as well. He even operated his own workshop. Hey Stella, are you here for your sword? I'm afraid it's going to be a bit longer. I've been a bit preoccupied with this. And what exactly is it? Looks like a pile of random junk to me. So I was looking down at an assortment of machine parts spread out across the workbench. Pluto loved to visit flea markets and had acquired parts from various islands all across the islands. From various islands all across the islands. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I was with you when you bought this part. I remember wondering what the hell it was. I'm wondering the same thing about everything on the table. <laughs> Sounds like something you would say. I'm actually in the same boat, to be honest, but don't all these parts somehow seem connected to you? Connected? In other words, I think they may have all been part of the same machine. Think of it like a ship. If it should sink into the sea, its parts are then scattered throughout the water. Eventually, the scattered parts wash up on different beaches around the islands. It's the same for these parts. Thanks for the lesson. Pluto had used magic to remove the dirt and rust from the parts that now sparkled in like nothing like casting a Gino flame on the parts to clean them. Oh, come on and give me a hand. I think I finally figured out how to put them all back together. It was like the pieces of a large broken sculpture made of metal and also quite heavy. But before long, the pieces began to take on a vaguely human shape. The part that looked like the head was spherical, with two arms extending out from under either side. The body was supported by three gears, which presumably allowed it to move. So, it's a metal puppet? It would appear so. Hmm. So you have to wonder who made it. Perhaps it came from some other land. Some other land? It's just a theory, but I can't think of anywhere on Marcia that could create something like this. I don't know. I'm sure there are plenty of other eccentrics like you in other countries. Maybe one of them made it. While we're fielding theories, what do you think this chimney-looking piece is for? Isn't it just a chimney? <laughs> As I touched it, she noticed a small bump. I wonder if this is some kind of lover. I don't think anything will happen if we touch it, yeah? But I still pressed the lever. Oh boy. For a moment, Stella and Pluto thought they had been attacked by a dark fairy, and without hesitation, they both drawn their swords. Pretty interesting, since Pluto wears staves, but okay. Huh? What the? Upon further inspection, they realized that it looked nothing like a fairy, and as they stared, the metal puppet slowly opened its eyes. It then spun its head around and spoke. Mana source restored, charging complete. You do have my gratitude. Your gratitude? What does it mean to absorb mana power from us? Starting today, Yumi Maru shall be a fellow ring knight. Yumi Maru? So it has a name, huh? You laugh better than I do. And that is how Stella and Yumi Maru met. Alright. Alright. 
Oh, Tilda, we just met. It is a pleasure to meet you properly. My name is Tilda. I know this is sudden, but might you have any need of another knife? Yes, I do. The guy carrying the keg fell in battle, so can you carry the keg, please? By all rights, I should not be alone. I used to travel with my cute little high dog. She was like family, but she was taken from me. All because of this stupid war. All I ever wanted was to be left in peace to paint her. But with my baby gun, that dream is all but dust. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. If this war continues to rage, I might even lose my paintings of her. If that happens, then she'll truly be gone forever. I may not be typical runite material, but I'm good with magic. Please let me help you put an end to all this fighting. Cool. Tilda is now an ally. We're gonna take a look at her here pretty soon. So we got us some Frost Knuckles and a nice amulet. A new knight has been recruited. Cool, we got two knights. Who did we get? While out on a stroll through town, Sherrod became the annoying target of a pickpocket. Oh no. What was most surprising, however, was that when confronted, the pickpocket exhibited the abilities of a rune knight. Right. Try to steal from me, I'm gonna recruit you into submission for my country. Sounds pretty good. After a difficult fight, Sherrod eventually succeeded in subduing the would-be thief. Lose. Hey, let go of me. You think you're so great just because you're some fancy knight. Yeah, that's right. You're not only... One, well, you're not the only one with special powers, you know. Shara tried to explain that a rune knight's power was meant to be used for purposes more important than common thievery. <laughs> Don't give me that crap. What do you know about anything? You lot are the ones who leave these idiotic merchants and clerics with too much power. I'm just taking him, I'm just taking him down a peg. It's just my luck that you had to be the one I hit today. Curses. Boy had a temper, but Shara had some potential in this unpolished diamond of a warrior. The fire in him could be molded into strength. The boy was offered a choice, face punishment for his crime or join the army and learn to walk the path of a true, ni ru a true rune knight. <gasps> what? Are you being serious? Shara nodded. The thief thought for a moment before, answer before answering. You got guts telling me what to do, don't say I didn't want you to. Your name's Yuse, go ahead and put me to work or whatever. Shara nodded, wondering what lay beyond this new ally's enigmatic smile. Cool, we have two more knights. Love it. And now we get to take a look at them. I didn't get any of those knights in my Mana Salicia uh, run. So let's see what we have here. Well, they're pretty low level, so we have a thief and an enchantress. Alright, so Tilda. Alright, she's a level 3 enchantress, so pretty low level. Kinda like Sophie. She's 25, a town painter skilled enough to work as the royal artist. So she dislikes being chained to one place and prefers to be free to draw what she wants. When she loses her beloved eye dog to the war, she resolves to sign up as a rune knight. She has great respect for the beauty she finds on the content of Runercia and the monsters that dwell there, considering the rune god who birthed them to the greatest artist of all. Then use the thief. Alright, so he's a level 4 thief. 24 years old, a rogue who lives in sleazy slums at the border of the Norzalio Kingdom. Oh wow, you were out of your way. Life is harsh there, and he has never known human kindness, which causes him to become an inconsiderate and cruel person. He continues to prey on others despite awakening to his mana powers and 
reluctantly joins the military force when urged to follow the chivalrous path of a knight. Would he ever be able to completely leave his life of stealing behind? Probably not, he's a thief. Once a thief, always a thief, or something. Alright, so I got some items. Um, I think you can. Um... Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. How about that? Alright, so with a serpentine gem, uh, I can turn that into an Hydra. The Hydras in this game really kick ass, and I want one, or several. Probably several, but I need to get the items for that. So it's not an automatic like in Grand Edition, where you get you know the Hydra and then the Tiamat, you know, just by leveling it, you need an item for that. Alright, so that takes care of that in particular. Sophie is still there. Alright, uh, items, items, items. Um, okay, ice amulet would be nice, probably. Um, I got some knuckles for my friend that fell here. Some frost knuckles. So all it's gonna do is add some blue to his attacks. That's really let's give you the ice amulet as well. Now let's give it to uh, the person that found it, which is Sophie. So now your, uh, your defense with blue is really strong. Oh, I found a jade something too, I thought. Um, no. No, I only sent two people on quest, so I only have two items. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and save here for today. And again, sorry that the, that the stream... Uh, drop that means that that's gonna be two separate videos for this um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and stop here so as usual i do want to thank you for tuning in if you've liked the video slash videos uh, please feel free to like subscribe share comment all of that good stuff and until i roll this game again i'll see you guys next time thank you